Welcome back to Harbaugh. So what else is new in politics? Well, it's a showdown in the New York Times. You may have read Maureen Dowd's column on Sunday. She wrote, quote, the dollar's crumbling, the recession's thundering, the Dow's bungee jumping, and the world's disapproving. Yet George Bush has turned into Gene Kelly, tap dancing and singing in a one-man review called The Most Happy Fella. That's a reference, of course, to this little presidential routine right before that press conference with John McCain. There he goes. A funny line from Marine, right? Well, not according to the late Jean Kelly's wife, Patricia. In a letter to the New York Times today, she responds, quote, to suggest that George Bush has turned into Jean Kelly represents not only an implausible transformation, but a considerable slight. If Jean were in a grave, he would have turned over in it. When Jean was compared to the grace and agility of Jack Dempsey, Wayne Gretzky, and Willie Mays, he was delighted. But to be linked with a clunker, particularly one he would consider inept and demoralizing, would have sent him reeling. Boy, does that woman defend her husband's legacy. Maureen obviously meant no insult to Kelly, just to the target of her usual assaults, the president.